So in 2013, I started working on the pilot of what would be Song Exploder. I was afraid that somebody would hear it and, and think, oh, this guy who's a you know failed musician is talking to successful musicians in a way to kind of legitimize his own existence as a musician or something like that. And for nine months, I took it around. Nobody yeah. was like interested in audio as like a branded form of content. Right. This was still the, the sort of the stone age of, of, of podcasts. But I really I really was excited about the idea. I wouldn't have done it if I didn't believe in it. I just thought this seems like a cool thing that I feel like somebody would like well enough that I could make a job out of this. Not like a full-time job, but like a part-time job. Something that could be a way for me to maintain being able to pay my bills while I, you know, maybe hopefully I'll, I'll get to music again someday or something like that. So I was pleasantly surprised when the show started to pick up steam, but it also felt like I, I got to justify having that instinct, that it was worth spending my time on this kind of weird project. 